Good morning. My name is Bola Von Kegaris. I came to the United States in 1980 after spending two years in um, a Thai refugee camp. We grew up not having much. We grew up poor, having um, assistance from the government. This young man who was uh, who got in trouble back in high school is now a successful physical therapist. He has his master. I believe that I am the first Lao deputy chief in the um, states, if not in the whole country. Working hard and treating people well, because that will get you um, far in life. I really do believe that. Good morning, my name is Bola Von Kegaris, and I am the Deputy Chief Probation Officer for Santa Clara County in the juvenile division. I um, normally go by Vaughn, so everybody here knows me as Vaughn. Um, my responsibility is to um, oversee the juvenile division, which includes sworn and non-sworn staff. And we have about two new staff here at this um, department. You know, I came to the United States in 1980 after spending two years in um, a Thai refugee camp. In 1980, my mother uh, was sponsored by a church in Oakland to come to the United States. And um, at the time, you know, my mom was a single mother as my dad died during the war in Laos. So she immigrated here to the United States um, with little to no education, um, with four little girls, you know, on her own. And um, our first stop was in Oakland, where we um, lived there for about a couple of years until we re relocated to San Jose, California. And, you know, growing up, we didn't have much. Um, as I stated, my mom did not have any formal education. She has a grade school education. What my mother lacked in formal education, she was really um, smart in other areas. You know, she provided for us with what she had with the assistance of the government. Um, and, you know, we grew up not having much. We grew up poor, having um, assistance from the government. And I, you know, knew that growing up that we didn't have much because I look at um, kids around me, you know, in school, high school, and we, we were poor. But what we had was, um, mom's um, encouragement to always do well. And, you know, uh, a key of getting out of poverty was always told to us by uh, obtaining an education. And um, which, you know, my sister and I all did. For me, um, I was the first to graduate um, from college in my family. And that started the um, trend for us to, for all her girls to obtain college education as a way to have a better life in this country. So um, after high school, you know, I was so excited when I was accepted to San Jose State. And, you know, that was a big accomplishment for me and for my family as the first one to attend college. Um, I decided to major in social work because I knew that was something I wanted to do because I saw how my mom received um, assistance from local community-based organizations like Aki, you know, um, government assistance. So I knew that was something I wanted to do to give back to the community um, because I saw that that's how they helped my mother and her four girls um, be uh, able to have a roof over their head and have, you know, the basic necessity. So I got my degree in social work. But, you know, as anything, um, in college things change. I then um, geared towards the probation department, accidentally, as a matter of fact, because I had to do an internship um, for my degree. And at that time, the opening was at the Santa Clara County Probation Department in Juvenile Hall. So that is where I got my first taste of working in law enforcement, working with youth. So I just fell in love with it. 
uh, and that was in 1993, and I've been here ever since. So I started my career with the probation department working as a group counselor um, in juvenile hall, working with youth, uh, making sure that they're safe and secure while they are in custody. And then um, after that, I, um, you know, tested to be a probation officer, and that's where my career as a deputy probation officer began in 1999 um, to help um, other youth who have committed crimes, but um, wanting to work with them so that they can um, go on to a better path for to be a pro productive member of community. So that's where, you know, my um, career to path to leadership really began. I, I, uh, you know, I never saw myself as being here as a deputy chief probation officer as I am now. I always saw myself as, you know, giving back to the community, giving back to helping others as I had received growing up, as my mother had received growing up. So, um, you know, that trajectory started being a deputy probation officer, then promoted to supervising probation officer and promoting again to being a probation division manager and to um, here today as a deputy chief probation officer. My first mentorship that I remember is, uh, you know, gaining strength from my mother, who was my very first mentor. Um, I saw the struggles that she went through, uh, you know, not having a formal education, always having to work with her hands, just like a lot of um, parents like her who came to the United States from Southeast Asia, right? They had to, um, you know, a lot of them did not have formal education. So what they had was um, integrity, hard work, and the will to survive. And, um, and that started, for me, it started with seeing my mother work hard uh, when she did jobs, you know, working in the, um, um, you know, low paying, I hate to say that word, but jobs that did not pay much. Um, I saw how hard she worked and, you know, my mom was my first mentor. And then, you know, coming to work here, I've had quite a few um, co-workers, colleagues who have mentored me to be the uh, probation officer, to be the manager that I am today. Because you have to count on those folks to um, learn from, to help you um, know your job, how to do it, and how to do it right. But um, the main thing is, you know, if you have that um, will to work hard and do um, a great job, you know, that is the foundation in this work. It's, you know, be humble, be honest, uh, and uh, have integrity. And, and that's what um, I've learned from, you know, my family and also, uh, you know, just growing up seeing others that are in the same spot as me. my career um, at the probation department in 1993 as a group counselor working for youth uh, working with youth in juvenile hall while they're pending their placement pending court hearings and I um, then promoted to a deputy probation officer um, to work with youth out in the community you know because I feel that working with them um, out in the community you can have uh, uh, more of an impact because you're working with the youth and the family. They're usually on probation with us for a year and um, you know you're supervising them uh, every other week or monthly and um, I have a one youth that <laughs> um, I can say his name is his name is Michael which is common. Um, he was a Vietnamese young man who was raised by a single mom at the time and I remember him real well because um, about 10 years later, he wrote me, uh, he found me um, and wrote me a note saying that he, uh, if he, I remember him because he is now 
in a master program at San Jose State for uh, physical therapy. He just wanted to uh, let me know that he turned out okay and to thank me for being in his life at that time during that difficult time in his life because I was seeing him often, you know, once a month or every couple of weeks, part of his probation. Um, and he remembers in his letters to me, he remembers, although he hated the time, he hated me coming to school, he hated me coming to his house, but he appreciated time that I spent with him and his mom um, because he knew at the time his mom was a single mom working, you know, two jobs, uh, trying to raise um, him and his two other brothers. And what he remembered of me was that I was patient with him. I uh, listened to him. I helped his mom, uh, you know, um, finding, um, uh, what do you call it, <laughs> um, resources for her, you know, um, if she should need it. And I connected her to resources. And so he remembered that about me, even though he did not like my strictness of him, but he appreciated now, looking back, he appreciates it now. Um, and when I receive a letter like that, it makes it made me cry, but it also made me very happy because wow, you know, this young man who was uh, who got in trouble back in high school is now a successful physical therapist. He has his master. He's he 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 grows through the challenge and. Um, learn from his mistake. And that's what we want to do here in probation is, you committed a crime as a juvenile, but what we want you to do is learn from it and grow from it and go out there and be a productive member of our society. And this is what uh, this you know, young, young man did. And um, I really appreciate that um, letter because it really made you know my day and it really made um, you and me realize that that's what we're here for, to 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 help. Um, you know, not just the youth, but the whole family. And um, he just wanted to let me know that he turned out okay. So. Yeah. When I received the news that I was promoted to the deputy chief probation officer um, job here, I I could not believe it. Um, I cried and I um, was very, very appreciative of the opportunity given to me. And I know that um, I work hard to be here and I know that I deserve, like somebody told me, one of my colleagues uh, that I work with told me that, you know, I deserve a, a seat at the table. And that goes back to, you know, um, when I got that call, the first person I wanted to share with was my my dad and my mom. Um, and I told the chief at the time, can you give me a minute so I can share this in this space with my parents um, who are not here with me. And, um, and this one is special, this role is special because this one is for the community too, for my Lao community, because there is not that many of Lao people in the, the state and who have, um, um, you know, have been given this opportunity and I have been given this opportunity and I don't want to waste it. So for me, this is for my community. And, um, you know, when I talk about my father, it's important because he didn't make it here. My father um, died helping my mother and his four girls get to Thailand to be safe. Um, he died, you know, being killed, um, trying to uh, escape to um, Thailand to make sure that we are safe at the refugee camp. So. For me, it was very important that although he is not here physically, he is here in spirit because I take him along in all my journey of um, failures, of success. But I wanted him to know that, you know, Dad, although you're not here with me physically in this world, 
I've taken him in all my journey of success. Um, you know, that I want him to know that because of his sacrifice to um, um, his um, daughters and his wife, that his um, daughters have succeeded um, the American dream. I know it is cliche, but we have. Um, all his girls are educated. All his girls have given back to the community and continues to give back to the community by, um, you know, their role in society, right? So for me is, um, he knows, I want him to know that because of his sacrifice that um, we made it. Uh, we, we didn't take it for granted. We um, took every opportunity to succeed and to give back to the community, which is very important. It's very important for me. And for me, it's um, about hard work, about being humble, about being honest, um, having integrity, right? That's something that um, is always in the back of my head. And everybody here who knows Vaughn here knows that. And if you ask, they will tell you that, that I am authentic and I am um, transparent and I am um, one who um, is with integrity, you know? And um, I shared this journey with my parents, my sisters, um, and my Lao community because um, I believe that I am the first Lao deputy chief in the um, states, if not in the whole country. So that is a big deal. Uh, you know, uh, um, an immigrant success story like that is one to be proud of and one to, you know, seeing all the sacrifice of. 40 plus year come to fruition, right? And um, when I shared this with my mom, um, you know, she just cried and she knows that um, her daughter has done well in her career. I don't think she knows the magnitude of my job, but that's okay. But I think she knows that she's, um, her girl has done well because the Lao community is not big, like I told you. Um, and when someone in the Lao community come up to her and say, Pam, congratulations, we heard your daughter is the um, new deputy chief. And she's like, thank you, you know, and she's really proud. And not even before I was the deputy chief, I was a supervisor, I was a deputy probation officer, I was a manager. So every step of the way, you know, folks in the community would come up to her and said that, proud of your girl, Pam. I mean, she's, she's doing good things and, you know, representing our, community and for me that's really important to represent and especially this room it's um and i i tell my friends you know i have girlfriends who are also successful in their fields that this one is really for our community and um i share it with all of them and um, i especially share it with um, um my father for his sacrifice and um, and i just wish he was here but i know he's here in spirit and he sees it advice for future leader is to be humble, uh, work hard, um, have a great work ethic, and be one with integrity. And what I'm telling you now is no secret. It's just what the basic um, um, things in life, right? Things that have been shown to me, taught to me by my um, family, and I live by that, and uh, I continue to live by that to this day is, you know, working hard and treating people well, because that will get you um, far in life. I really do believe that. And I say that with the most um, honesty as, uh, you know, folks in my department who will see this video, they'll, they'll, they'll laugh because they know that about me. And that, um, I'm very grateful for this county, for this department, because it has afforded me um, so many opportunities, so many um, um, things to share with my children, you know, um, for them to be able to go to college, to having a roof over their head, you know, and it's because of this um, opportunity that I was given at the probation department at the County of Santa Clara. 
you know, to work with folks here who will be lifelong friends um, once I leave the department. And um, I've been here almost 30 years, 29 years this August. I've been in this career and it has been one that um, has been very fulfilling for me. And, you know, the other day I was telling my chief that I am still energetic. I still have a lot to give. I, uh, I have a lot of years left, you know. I'm not even looking forward to retirement um, because um, I feel that I still have a lot to give back and I, I'm very um, energetic and I, am, I just want to be a part of the change because I think that um, we can do a lot of good here and we have been. Uh, you know, the probation department here has been one of uh, innovation and one that a lot of folks look to and I want to continue to be a part of it for a few more years to come. Mm -hmm.